All right, new season, new ban list. That means, unfortunately, another unintended hit to Dark Magician. Wanted to two. We need to talk about this. How's it going, Habibis? How are you guys? I hope everyone's doing well. As I'm sure you can tell by the title of the video and the opening clip, we are going to talk about a very depressing topic, and that is the state of Dark Magician in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now, this is specifically to Master Duel and only Master Duel, and I'm going to try to be as positive and honest as I could be. You know, I don't want this to be, uh, you know, a 10-minute video of me just complaining about, you know, Dark Magician and why it's not a yeah, Tier 0 deck. I, I want this to be a productive conversation, so I want to know what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments so we can talk about it. Maybe we can come up with some solutions, find some find some common ground, find something good, something positive to take. Because to be honest with you, it's kind of sad if you're playing Dark Magician these days. Let's show some replays in the background. I'm not going to talk about them, but I'm just going to be uh, having them up in the background for you guys to watch. It's just some cool Dark Magician decks that I've been cooking up with for the past month or so. And I'll show you guys the decks at the end of the video. And maybe we could find something positive. But right now, let's talk about the honest truth about the state of Dark Magician in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. We're going to try to be as positive as possible here, okay? Be positive in the comment section. I'm going to try to keep it a buck. Let's let's wrap. So, what 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 happened? What what happened, guys? What happened? We started off no dragoon, no dragoon. You're just like, come on, bro, really? No dragoon? Okay, bet. Well, let's play branded. Branded fusions at three. We could kill it with that, okay? And we did. We actually did. To be honest with you, if you guys recall, that was when Terra Elements was at max strength. You know, it was Terra Elements and branded fusion, and you know, we were competing. We weren't great, but we were competing, okay? And then they hit Branded Fusion to one. And that basically annihilates the branded... The, 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 the branded engine for the most part. You know, it's very unlikely now that you're going to have that one card combo to go into Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. And Dark Magician the Dragon Knight is Dark Magician's big boss monster in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. That's, that's all we really got. That's all we really got. So, we have... No Dragoon, we have Brand Diffusion of 1, so okay, let's seek refuge in the next big archetype. Let's go to Cash Tira. Cash Tira is going to cook. Dark Magician's a level 7. Mahad, the big boy Mahad, is a level 7. We are going to cook. And we kind of did, kind of didn't, right? It wasn't as good as the Branded Engine, but we were doing some stuff, right? We were able to go into... Before Arise Heart came out, we were able to go into our uh, Diablosis, you know, zone lock some, some fools. That was a good time. And on top of that, we were able to, you know, go Ebon Illusion Magician, set up a DM uh, for free, basically, get a disruption there sometimes, especially if you have Circle, go Seeker Village of Spellcasters. It was great. It was a good time. It was a good time. But then... Kashira got too powerful. They hit Fenrir from to, 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 to one now. They hit Birth to one and then back to two. And now Unicorn's at two. And the cash package is just not all that great. You know, with so many hits to it, it's not that great. So what are we left with? What, 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 what do we have to, to really play with? Diabelle. We play Diabelle. And what do they do? You guys saw. Wanted is now at two, which... Look, Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils, I get it. It is a powerful card. It's, it's an abusable card in the Snake Eyes meta. But it really hurts us now that every single archetype we go into gets nerfed. And it getting nerfed isn't necessarily... I'm going to fast forward this because, you know, it's, it's a long duel. But it's actually a good one. It getting nerfed isn't necessarily our our fault obviously i mean they're not getting abused by us a card i forgot to mention as well is nadir servant nadir servant went from three to two nadir servant has crazy synergy with dark magician especially if you're playing super poly you can get so much advantage off of it you can get a draw one off garura then you can uh search for illusion of chaos there's great plays with nadir servant and that gets that gets hit to two so we're just kind of like trying to get the scraps of whatever major archetype we can anything to survive anything to play 
our baby boy dark magician and it it just it doesn't always work right it doesn't always work um here you see i'm, I'm playing the cash stuff and this is actually uh, i'll show you guys the deck at the end this is i believe a 50 card deck something like that i also have a 60 card uh, variant of this deck some of the other decks that people have been showing me that that they play with dm and like i said i, I don't want this to be a negative thing i don't want people to to sit there oh what is this guy talking about? he doesn't know what he's talking about look maybe i don't maybe i don't let me know in the comments i'd love to hear about it. i'd love to have a a, a civil discussion about because I, I like talking about these things these are things that keep me up at night you know so this is very therapeutic for me i hope it is for you as well but what is the actual problem with 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 dark magician currently the problem is the fact that we are playing outdated cards okay yes we're seeking refuge in whatever archetype we can but the fact of the matter is you're playing dark magical circle and eternal soul this is a card from 2016. these are cards from 2016. that is almost a decade ago people in the meta talk about mahad by the way people in the meta talk about how cards from last year are outdated two years ago forget about them for a lot of cards we're talking about cards from nearly 10 years ago and we're playing them not to mention everyone knows eternal souls terrible drawback you know so these are these are the problems the fact that dark magician gets support almost year round it does and people say oh why are you complaining dark magician gets tons of support you mean to tell me the, the 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 what's it called the unity bonds between unity and whatever the heck that card's called that trash ass card that's not support come on now that is not support and we need actual viable support. I mean, DM is the mascot of Yu-Gi-Oh. The fact that that's the support we get is very, very sad. It needs to be something viable. It needs to be something that is playable, that is useful against the meta, and something that can keep up, right? Magician Souls was a good, good pickup in 2020. Same with IOC was a good pickup, but we need more. We need something that gives a, a, a bigger plus advantage and actually something that gives something off of that plus advantage because magician souls can generate a lot of advantage but it really doesn't do much right and you want to be able to go into dark magician boss monsters right many times look this is chaos angel right here that's a boss monster of a dm deck and master duel mirror jade is a boss monster of a dm deck and master duel i i want a card like a not necessarily a dragoon but a dark magicians that actually does more now please guys let me reiterate do not be mad at me do not think that I'm giving up on Dark Magician. Heavens no. Actually the opposite. I am probably going to double down and continue my efforts along with everyone else to find a good Dark Magician mix for Master Duel. But I'm just trying to talk about the difficult circumstances that are upon us in Master Duel specifically. I would go as far to say that Dark Magician is the weakest by far in Master Duel compared to the TCG and OCG, definitely compared to the TCG. And people in the TCG will admit that Dark Magician isn't even a viable deck. Dark Magician isn't even a rogue deck in the TCG. So what is it in Master Duel? With Branded Fusion at one, Dragoon at zero. I mean, come on, we don't have any good boss monsters. But is there help on the way? I know there's the new Dark Magician, the Ebon Sorcerer which is has some promising abilities i guess you know with the gold sarcophagus of light stuff I'll, I'll have it pulled up on the screen here but i think it basically it, you you could summon it for free if you have gold sarcophagus of light so you know one card combo to get out dark magician it, its name becomes dark magician and that has like a really weird effect that like if it gets destroyed by card effect i think and there's a level five on the field you can uh, destroy your or I'm sorry you could set a spell or trap that mentions dark magician which is okay but in reality it's not that great by the way breaking a full super heavy samurai board however we did it nonetheless very proud of that but yeah it's it's not that great you know Th these these effects just are kind of kind of cap kind of not really worth mentioning a lot of times and then on top of that like we just said, the spells and traps in Dark Magician are very old. You're talking about cards from 2016. 
I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm to the point, I don't want to set Eternal Soul, really. I want something new. I want Eternal Soul 2, you know, something that's actually helpful. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, like I just said, I, I hope that you guys understand that this is still like, you know, a dream of mine to, to keep Dark Magician alive. I know it's for many of you guys the same thing. And hopefully Konami helps us out. There's also the Toy Box stuff coming out, which is pretty interesting. Toy Box DM, you guys can look that up if you haven't heard about it yet. It's, it's kind of decent. It's kind of decent. It gives us a lot of card advantage, if you guys have seen it. Um, I don't know what every card does exactly, but I, I know it's basically free uh, sends for Magician Souls and then it lets us search for stuff when they get summoned or something like that but good card advantage but at the end of the day we need a legitimate strategy we need uh, to be honest with you going up against the super heavy samurai board in this replay we need something i guess because this is what the meta is that lets us go into these generic boss monsters something that easily lets us go into clear wing sink or dragon and bear into floor hopefully one day we get that let's look at these deck lists and we'll wrap up all right guys this is the deck list that i've been working with i basically to be honest we just took out wanted and that's it i haven't made any changes to it we'll see if anything comes about guys expect there's still going to be a lot of dm content on this channel I, I still love the deck i don't want anyone to get this misconstrued also i'll do this again next week and i'll gladly talk more about dm and, and show you guys some replays if you like this style of video and discussion then let me know in the comments so, so i know to repeat this because i i like doing this Tamias, by the way, you know, this, this is how desperate I've become. Tamias. <laughs> I just, it's in there for the lulls. It comes up sometimes, but it's, this is probably not a good idea to play Tamias realistically. I'm just, I'm experimenting with it. So I want to show you guys what I've been messing with because like I said in earlier, Dragonite's the best we got. We got to try our best to get him out. Even Dragonite with the triangle of circle and uh, eternal soul. It's still pretty easy to out. Uh, the other interesting one is the, the Cash DM uh, 60 card Copium build. This one's a lot of Copium, but you know what? There's some positivity to this Copium. If you guys were there in the stream, when we went on an eight game winning streak with this deck, it was actually a lot of fun. It was it was big hype. Um, it's it's kind of rough now with, with Unicorn at three, but you gotta make do with what we got. Like I said, if you guys wanna see more content like this, please don't hate me, don't be mad. If I insulted your favorite deck, it's my favorite deck too. But if you guys want to see more like this, let me know in the comments. Guys, Dark Magician is always going to be the best deck in my heart. Okay? Always. No matter what. No matter what. And I want to know what you guys have to say. So if you like the video, hit the like button. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love. Habibis.